All right, I uh, welcome you to uh, the BIPEC special meeting budget workshop, March 27th. Uh, it, it, it is a Zoom meeting and everything's listed and moved to conduct for the hybrid virtual meeting. What? What did you do? Great. Uh, I'm Mark Walter, it's an administrator. This is a web based call. We're operating on the following procedures. The session is being both video and audio recorded. Pictures and staff will generally remain on mute except when speaking or voting, and will generally be keeping video of themselves on throughout the meeting. If a member of the public creates an audio or video disruption, they may be manually ejected from the meeting upon recommendation of the staff or the chair. For public input before the meeting, please email your comments to public input at columbiact.org within 24 hours before the meeting. All right, we'll call it over and please stand for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for the Union. All right, approval of last meeting's minutes. Any questions, comments? Um, I did have a comment and a correction. Under member president, it says Jeffrey Vice Chairman. I think it should be Jeffrey Chairman. And then after Judy Jordan, it should be Judy Jordan Vice Chairman. Okay. Great. Uh, motion to accept the correction. Second. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Right into the uh, budget workshop now and uh, discussion. I know everybody went home and reviewed numbers. Uh, round and round and round. Uh, does anybody want to start? We can my rules. Well, I, I did have a question, and maybe Beth can answer. But it says that the estimated undesignated fund balance was about two million seven hundred thousand, but that was estimated as of twenty one twenty three. What is the current estimated fund balance? The current estimated fund balance, if it was closed today. And everything was spent as is, um, plus taken out the fund balance of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the um, capital project for road and culvert engineering. Um, I'm estimating to be about three million dollars. Mm -hmm. Yep, based on the current budget requirements. If we don't change, make any changes to the budget, it's going to be at fourteen point eight five percent. Okay. Okay, any questions? Any other questions? Discussion? Bridget, how much of that would you like to say? <laughs> There's a lot of unanswered questions. Okay. Um, I think we need to know about the HVAC because that's going to impact the fund balance and so on and so on. So I don't think we can make any decisions on it or recommendations on anything at this point. Yeah. No, I, is it, is, I do know that. Uh, in fact, this is something that happened way back in 2007, and it was Tom and Vance's idea. Um, we used the fund balance to pay for uh, work on the school roof, and the fund balance got down to, to about 7% rather than the 18 out of 20 years. And I think we, when the time comes, we need to consider letting the fund balance go lower than we have down to maybe seven percent but let's see what the numbers are before we consider those kind of things okay the um odds of us knowing what's going to happen with the we are we going to know 
So your suggestion is we leave the fund balance the way it is and not use any, and then when we no, I'm not suggesting that anymore. No, nope. I'm suggesting that we be prepared to to use much of the fund balance either to cover H five uh, the expenses or to cover the um, increase in the budget and so on and so on. Um, I don't know. Like I said, we have a history of cutting as low as seven percent, and right now we're at eighteen percent. Right. So I don't. I wouldn't have a problem going as low as seven percent. Actually, if we're but I think it's too early. We don't have the facts necessary to make that decision. Okay. Anybody else? I kind of, I kind of agree on <clears throat> the concept that without the knowledge of each fact uh, until the end of April then there's virtually nothing we can do to budget that. Yes or no, apply for a, a, a bond, put the fees for applying for a bond into a budget item somewhere, and then not even spending any of it, because it'll take that long probably to get it and go along the first. Changing the, uh, you know, uh, the fund balance. You know, I don't think you should go that drastically, but reducing it a little is, is fine. We've done it before. I've I know that. I'm saying and it's, it's, and I'm not saying we should. I'm just saying we, it's something that we should consider, you know, because, uh, you know, I look at a 13.52% increase in the mill rate. Um, what that does, uh, tax dollar wise, to, you know, anybody who's paying, you know, 10, 10 a year in taxes, now they're going to be paying out uh, what, 11, three or something like that. Mm -hmm. and that's, stable. that's a lot of money for people. Mm -hmm. You know, you get older people who are, who may have land rates and cash flow, that's going to hurt. And that, you know, you extend know, that bar graph, and that puts it higher than, than that whole previous history. And I have one somewhere that I did last year. I'll pull out and see how long it's been since we've had you know, anything that high or how much that increase is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well no, yeah. it's a scary number if you jump that quick. Mm -hmm. That's 3.5 mil. But 3.5 mil is 13.5 percent. But yeah. that's 3.5 mils, but without the bond. Right. That's just what the increase is for right. the budget. All right, well, we're talking about finding out about that, you know, towards the end of April. Uh, April 24th is when we have our public meeting on your budget. How, how far can we push that? Or are those drop dead dates? I mean, we might not know by the time we have to go to a public hearing on the budget. Okay, I think it might be a little flexible. It's just that the town meeting has to be held between the second Tuesday of May and the June first. So okay. yeah. right now we're in the middle of May for the town meeting and probably push that out. But the challenge of setting the town meeting is you the deadline to advertise the legal notice is April twenty seventh. Right. In order to have a town meeting in the winter. Um, we need so many weeks. Do we? We know we, we we're pretty much certain that we're going to. I don't think there's any question about bonding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we need to wait to start the process for bonding? Yes. Right now we have an RFQ out for a municipal advisor that would handle the bonding process. Um, and we've had two firms. I mean, I know we're waiting on. Yeah, I know we're waiting on the HVAC to find out how much money we're going to get from the state to cover the HVAC, but we don't necessarily need to wait to start getting a bond. Cool. Uh, I think you have to, when you submit for a bond, you have to have things set projects 
We need to know how much we ask for. We can't just say, hey, give a million dollars. And those projects, well, the, the main project, the HVAC project, is authorized by the town. Yeah, but like we, we know we're going to be covering these coverts. We know what, what we're going to be doing. Yeah, we, we haven't defined those projects yet, and we're in the process of creating a subcommittee and creating an engineering review on the road projects. But the bonding, the whole bonding process is a year. That's how long it takes because you have to pull all our financials and we have to basically get ready to go out onto the marketplace. Advised by our municipal advisor and our bond council. But town meetings, you have to have numerous town meetings for the residents know about it. They have to approve going up the bond. So does that mean that we have to once we um, make a decision to proceed with HVAC, does that mean that we have to put out town money and then get reimbursed when we receive it? Right, we would do short-term financing until um, the, bond. the bond is set and the project is what does I don't know if it has to be totally complete or if incrementally the bond can pay it that we what does short term financing mean? We go into the marketplace and borrow the money or something. Borrow money. So we don't have to allocate town money. No. Okay. Well, there's only a big fee we don't know yet. We're waiting. We have to find the advisor and all that. And there's a fee for that. Um, we have a bond council fee. We'll have um, advertising fees. There's probably like an application or something. They said to go out to bond, it could cost anywhere from 75000 to 100000 Like That was over a year ago. <clears throat> That's not good. No, that should not have changed. I don't know. I wouldn't think so. Yeah. I think that range is still good. Which is why you want the bond to be sizable enough to be more. Than that. I no, know. I, I agree. agree. I agree. If we're gonna go for a bond, go for like ten million or whatever, so we'll cover this in a couple of a couple of covers. So you have to send the bond money. I'm like, today you're gonna send yeah. 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 No, no, of course. We, no, need, no, to define, no. we need to define the, the covers and we need to find the projects, which they haven't done yet. Um okay. Yeah, like in the last bond I did in East Adam. We went out for 15 million to convert a school to a municipal complex, another two million for radio towers, another half million to fix a fire station, and one other project. But we lumped everything into like a 20 million dollar bond. Yeah. And then the projects took years to accomplish, but bond authorization was there. Yeah. We did short combining to still find more it all in. Well, I, I, my opinion, is, is, to be honest, is that I don't know if we can, we're not going to render a decision today. Uh, we need more information because, like, whether we're going to cut the budget in the town of the school uh, or, or, or cut into the general funds, we don't know how much. We need to know where to begin uh, without knowing what it means. It's uh, going to the taxpayers with a 3.5 million increase, except for No. Okay. okay. We're, we're, we're going to, on the heels of that, we're going to say, and we're also going to bump you yeah. up because we're going to right. So we do that. So. <laughs> no, but like we don't, we don't even know. Like, but what I'm saying is that we don't know where to go because we don't know if we're going to, if we're going to ask the school and the town to be cutting the budgets. We don't know how deep they need to cut their budgets until we know what the bond and everything else is going to I increase. I, okay. That's true. No, I was going to say we could we could ask for preliminary cuts so you have them come back. Plus the cut, the amount of money we're speaking of in reference to bond is not anything we can approach from our general fund. Um, so I, I mean, I almost think the bond is over here. And well, I'm talking about the increase. I'm talking about the increase in the mill rate. Like we don't know. Like we're looking at a moving target. So we have 3.5. So do we cut it down to 1.75 to 2 to 2.5, knowing that it's going to be a mill increase that you know is going to be incorporated, knowing the bonds coming down the line? Well, we don't know for sure. We don't know what the that's what I'm saying. Correct. That's what I'm saying. And that's a year up. It's a year. 
It's in the next budget. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. in the next. So I think we still need to have it incorporated in this budget. budget. Doesn't make sense for us to have any more meetings until the end of April when we're going to have more information on the bond because we don't. That will, it'll be too late. Yeah, you have a budget to get jammed so hard, it, 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 it'll be ugly because basically, by our charter, you need to have the town budget meeting between the second Tuesday in May and the first Tuesday of June. Uh, there's a chance that that town meeting you don't pass the budget, so you still want to be time. You know, I've seen towns go into September trying to get a budget passed in Hebron, Missouri. Great, so you still have to have that initial one in that window. Would it make sense to move the public hearing right now? It's scheduled for 424. To move it into May sometime, maybe the, a week or two after the. But then you can't have a town meeting. Yeah. yeah. Then you'd have to move the town yeah. meeting. No, I'm not sure you would have town meeting. No, only and two weeks before the public hearing. Or Sundays, but you also have to get mail around, and that takes time. <laughs> not that I'm not suggesting that, but okay. <laughs> but uh, I know the mind where you could say, okay, uh, we're going to ask for cuts from the Board of Selectmen, the Board of Finance, excuse me, Board of Education. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we might want to locate some number out of the undesignated balance fund to help buy a dot. Mm -hmm. So that we have some preliminary numbers on the board not coming in at the end of the month, high and dry. Okay, I think that would be crazy. All right, we don't want to pull the fund out. If we're going to buy, we want to help with something. All right, because I, I think that would be advantageous to the bank. But that would probably be your short term finance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we'll probably use your fund balance for the first. Right, so yeah, if we're going to use the fund balance, you know, even taking a middle. Uh, would put us around 2.5 uh, or 2.4. I think we're going to have to use some of the fund balance. The question is just how much. And and again, some of that fund balance has to cover HVAC. Um, so it's hard to make a decision on this at this point in time. Well, the final position decision, yes. But in the meantime, we can be you know putting numbers on the table. Just so, so, so all right. Um, <clears throat> if we want to get down to one point seven five, we need to find a million eighteen, a million dollars and eighteen thousand, uh, to get down to one point seven five. If you're talking two, uh, I believe it's eight hundred seventy three thousand two hundred ninety six, something like that, and then get it down to two point five. You're talking five eighty two. Uh, you need to find uh, 582 to, to cut. And that's assuming, and that's without any kind of, so that 582.5 is, 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 is that majority. You go through the map? Or you go through the map? Or I mean, um, I'm just like the increases were the uh, 700,000 for Florida Vet. You know, I'm, talking talking about, I'm talking about like all right, so you're talking yeah. mill rate, yeah. Come on, mill rate. So yes. they're talking about you're talking about 3.5 increase is three two million thirty seven thousand six hundred ninety point eight. And um if we're gonna if we're gonna try to get it to one point seven five, it's a million eighteen and change. And then um uh and then if you're trying to get down to two. You got a slash eight seventy three in pain, and then I'm, I'm basing it on the eight five eight two uh, that they said was the value of the mill rate. Okay. I guess my question is, I'm having a problem equating where the thirteen point five percent increase in mill rate equates to the budget proposals that were sent were, were presented to us last week. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I had. Like I said, seven hundred thousand over budget from the previous year for yeah. Board of Ed. And well, that's true. Yeah, one hundred and 
twenty-nine or hundred and something. I can't. I can't find the number I wrote down. Four seconds. Three hundred twenty-four thousand. Three twenty-four for the uh, the increase. Board of selectmen. Yes. Yeah. Just about the difference in the last year's increase. In and now it sounds like it sounds like you guys are uh, asking, and I'm our right, expect comes out to a million, right? So it sounds like we need the thirteen point five. How does that? No, oh, it's it's saying, no, no, no. Like you're talking, you're asking where do you get the three point five mil increase? Period. Right. How does it? How does it equate to those numbers? We had to buy. Rates? We had to buy down last year. So you okay? You're so missing the revenue. Correct. Of using the general fund to pay for a mill rate buy down from the previous from the previous year. Correct. So we're starting in the hole a million three. And don't forget the we had more in the general fund last year than we do this year. If we had yeah. it, we'll all. Okay, so it's if you're you're recouping, you're recouping the top the drawdown from the general fund of three hundred grand because that revenue is plus not the other million, million unless we borrow mm -hmm. it again. So the million three equals the three point five. That would yeah yeah okay. So. I mean, I think we have to take some money from the general fund and we have to decide how much going to be. But are we going to be asking the Board of Selectmen and the Board of Ed to look for cuts too in their budgets? And if we if we are going to do that, then we have to tell them that we're going to want them to answer that question, not today, but down the road for the next meeting or the next. Yeah, but our next meeting is our next week. Right. Yeah. Why don't you choose the R the Board of Ed and the Board of Selectmen next week? So you have to tell us today. Right. So it would be a good idea to come up with something like that. So then we should give them know that this is something that we're gonna ask them to look at. So it how about if we were to look at the undesignated balance line and then pour it down the middle, six hundred thousand dollars. I think in all honesty, I think one of the mistakes we've made in the past is giving a dollar amount that we want them to cut. What I think we need to do is just ask them if there's things that they can cut and to make um, the tax increase less than what it is now, rather than give a dollar amount. That worked well last year. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and some of that, I'm not even sure that that's a fair approach. Um, I think they should have a target. I, just, I think, you know, somebody's got to bear uh, the, some kind of burden. I don't understand saying why we're going to repay 300000 that we took out last year, but we're going to draw down, take from it to repay that again. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, you just leave the other one out. Not no, was what, what, what was going on was that we had decreased artificially the mill rate down to 25. Right. So the mill rate wasn't actually 25. We bought our way down to 25. Right. So the mill rate was probably realistically what, 26, 27? Yeah, you brought it down two mills. Yeah, yeah, two mills. Yeah. And so, like, there, there was going to be a mill increase this year. The question is by how much? Right. And so that's what we were that's that's what we're dealing with now is is that we bought it down. Now we have to, you know, figure out a way to, you know, okay. Make so, it make it make it make it make so what you're saying is three hundred buy down from last year would, would be in perpetuity if we didn't address that. Correct. So we certainly can't buy it down to a mouse. No, we can't okay. Okay. Now which way it's coming out. Five hundred eighty-two thousand one hundred ninety-seven point thirty-seven. Here's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. One mil from the undesignated fund, and one mil between the board of ed and board of selectmen. Sixty-five twenty-five. I mean, it gives it gives them targets that with uh mm -hmm. yeah what would that be it, well a half a mill it would make the uh board 380 from yeah. the board of ed and yeah. 145 
10 or not exactly perfect because there's 10 percent of those miscellaneous things, but mm -hmm. it's, it's rough. Yeah. And we're going to start here multiple parts. One point, yeah, yeah. Is the do we feel comfortable going to the voters at one point five? Yes, okay, okay. Mr. Okay. Voters, with the notion that. Well, I mean, you you're going one point five this year, and it's going to be at least that much next oh, year. Oh, absolutely. And, and feeling the pain, you know, gradually. Right, and the, you know, the board of education and the board of selectmen both know if they run into an issue, they can come to us. Yeah. During the year, we never say no. But I think uh, with what's going on with the, especially the board, the school board and the air, air conditioning and all that coming in, I think. I hate to use this word, but the optics would look great for everybody if we were to work on something like that. And if you ran into an issue, we could reimburse you down the road so we don't get uh, uh, you know, the sticker shot to all the citizens in town. Do they, will people, is it possible? I guess, Public hearings that will have some sense of the bond money. I mean, I would feel that it's wrong to spring the whole idea of bonding after people have well, yeah, we, accepted a lot of well, I'd like to. I'd like to have it before then. I agree with you. That's yeah. important. Well, it'd be nice, but we might not. Well, so, we could at least begin the process of introducing the. So right, you know. There's no way we can give in general sense. Correct. We know generally what the amount's going to be. We know generally what the interest rates will be. I mean, you know, I, I, I have some specs, but I have perspectives to show me. Yeah, so we can have three million annual interest. Um, two hundred thousand year annual yeah, interest. And on uh, if we three million was our contribution to our project. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we have to get the whole amount because we have to pay the whole amount, right? And then get reimbursed right. from the grant. So but we, we have to get the six million. You're doing six million, but you're only really the state is paying back 52% of that six million. Right. So we still have to come back to like front right, right, right. But still you're you're being reimbursed. So it's just money moving on. We're responsible for three million. Are they gonna reimburse the interest on that? Are they paying interest on the twenty million? Probably. Do you see where are we over there with you know, what we just discussed? Um, Uh, I'm thinking about the how you, the distribution of the 380 for the quarter and 145 for the town. Okay. 145 is their entire increase. Yeah. And 380 is half of the board of beds increase and then less of a percentage of the budget. So I'm just wondering does it make sense to, to use those numbers as a, as a guideline? Yeah. I mean, they may not be able to do it anyways. I mean, obviously, we can invite everything, but you know, I guess we have to be serious. I would, I would, I would change the number to higher on the board of red and lower on there because you do take it out all of Steve Everett's. Uh, yeah, that's his, his entire good yeah. entire yeah. and and, and there are less than a third or less twenty percent of the of the budget amount. No, they're very, 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 very so, small. So, you guys want to, you know, read that to come to the room? We come over and we were to ask uh, Stephen for 70, 75 to have you know, if you want 90 and one, uh, 90 and uh, we'll that make it uh, five, 435. Is that right? Usually, they've been so it would be about if uh board of selectmen was 75, it would mean board of education was 452, 450 mm -hmm. and round numbers. Yeah. If, if we start with so, a different so the 
members that we just started with the 380. Those were fourth military there. Who are yeah. basically accounting for the fact that about 10% of the budget is on capital and other right. miscellaneous things. Yeah. Yeah. Can you start by adjusting for the break? Yeah. Well, I, I think there's merit in what Steve says. No, no, no. 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 It's just, it's just mm -hmm. Richard, you're quiet. You're quiet over there. I mean, I'm listening. No, okay. Uh, I'm not, I don't have a problem with asking both the board of and the board of to come up with some cuts. Okay. Um, but what I've said repeatedly is I think one of the most important things that any community does is, is and I don't want to cut the Board of Education budget that would impact this being interested. So let's see what they come up with. Um, and I don't, if you want to say that our goal is to cut both the Board of Education and the Board of Selectmen so that we save one mil, that's okay. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. But let's see what they can come up with. Yeah, on the other hand, if you look at the first selected budget, and it does a 6.4 increase, and four of it is only 5.10. Right. 5.1 increase. Um, it seems like. Okay, but he thought last year, and four of it didn't. Right, right. Four of it actually didn't. Barbara, can you move that paper? He cut a hundred grand last year. Yeah. Board of Ed did and then didn't. Yeah, I, I don't I I don't think the board of Sentinel has that much wiggle room with you. With everything that's going on and everything that's happening. I mean the coverts small. Yeah, are you here for uh, the down committee meeting? Yeah. That's across the, the way in the we only talk. Well this looks kind of talk to money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. I think it's a good All right, so we call right now. Make the Read the numbers. Yeah. Um, yeah. I do have the numbers. I'm just using my yeah. Yeah. Um, I move that we um, ask the Board of Selectmen to reduce the town's budget by $75,000 and the Board of Education to reduce their budget by $450,000 and that we agree to take the equivalent of one mill rate, which is $582,000 rounded from the undesignated fund to reduce the proposed mill increase to one point five. And do we have a second? Second. Conversation. If the one doesn't the one point five to find upon getting the reduction. Yes. Yes. So how did this run it? So that you get yes. to the motion might say to lower or minimize it. I mean we're not gonna get to reduce the mill rate increase. Yeah, we have never had it had a friendly. So we're going to amend it to say that. Right. Okay. So we're we're to yeah. Reduce the mill rate increase. Yeah. Yeah. Got to increase. Good. Okay. All those in favor? Pushing it forward. Okay. Abstentions. Yeah. Okay. Um. For okay. Yeah, I wasn't objecting. I'm just you know, saying that's the same. Okay. Uh, motion carried. Mm -hmm. Thank you for violence. Thanks, Somebody else is listening. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, she's babysitting her grandkids. And no. Like, you All right, so I'm sure you, you'll take that for the board of yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we kind of, yeah, we kind of gave you a target to aim at, you know, 
we'll be back in session next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I missed it, but I was looking for the detailed line item budget on the support of that. Did we not get one in that last meeting? Yeah, we did. Oh, yes. I think that was in this. I think that was talking about the. So you're talking about this here? 24, 25. Yeah. We got we got this last time. I had 23, 24 in mind. So we got that line. I don't have 24, 25. It all says 23, 24. I don't know if that's an error. Right. On the top of the page. The header. There's one at the back where it says 23, 25. Yeah. There's like five or yeah, six. Yeah, right there. It's, 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 Six, seven, eight pages. Eight pages. Well, well, okay, so that. Okay. So no, I, well, what, that was how many Was that not? Okay. I was looking specifically the, the question that was brought up for the issue was brought up that the that the place the tuition one. So I guess it's somewhere around three point five. Four million, one of the biggest line items in the budget, was going to be higher this year, but it was going to have fewer people, and it said that it was going to be uh, because the school tuitions were going to be greater than the cost of transport. So I assume that if that's all done, there's probably a spreadsheet behind that line item that ties into the number of students at each school and at each grade that, 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 that high school. It, was also in the it didn't. It didn't break it down to the level that I think I wanted. Yeah, the number of high school, what the price cost per student is any school. Is that what you're looking for, Steve? Mm -hmm. yeah. Some white stuff got cut off. There's a line that shows who was at home as for the past three years, the high school, who's at Holton, who's at Lewis Smith, who's at Magnet, the number. In this, in this presentation? Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't say the price part. That's it. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not by school. Well, you know, Oh, uh, I think yeah. what you asked about was how to swap that up. What is that? Yeah, so tuition numbers are in here too. Oh, the tuition rate is probably not in there. You just have a count. Even in the audit record, say you're driving here. It's not three. It's that line item. You saw it. 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 You Several hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. And if, if we're increasing it, I believe we, uh, that's going to be an over budget design item. I think it should be looked at. And I know you can throw it, but we're, we're all helping grasp. We're all, we're all, we're all grasping this stuff here. I understand. Now, I'm not going to be here next week, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but what I'm hoping is that I can get input from maybe Barbara and Mark no later than Wednesday morning and then I can give my I can give Jeff a call and give my mm -hmm. my reaction um uh, to Jeff and you yeah that would be that uh, you'll bring back back all the photographs for you I'm sorry you'll bring back basketball all the photographs uh important in the year Jason Taylor right I'm going to be up at uh in Boston, uh, in Boston, my project. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the board of selectmen board of uh, education, the chance to come back next week. Maybe I can just have uh, Jim go for it. I can finalize the budget next week. I go to you. Okay, we can go on with our people. <laughs> if we need to. Right. Yeah. Now, yeah, also, you need to make a motion. This is only a 10 and what's Yeah. So just make a motion if 
It looks like you're going to have it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Motion, that you will be having a budget work out Okay, okay. And I will make the motion that uh, we will have a, another budget workshop meeting, um, April 3rd, 7 p.m., right here. Second. Second. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? All right. All opposed? All right. So that will be there. So we'll be here next week. Hey, Arthur, it's your favorite time. Oh. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> All in favor? Uh, I 